The Earth. Charming, isn't it? Very hard to leave when the big cataclysm happened nearly three millennia ago. The survivors fled to Mars. That's where I was born. And now, in the year 5000, we have come back. The adventurers, the academics, the archaeologists. We're here to solve the mysteries of this lost world. How's the expedition going? Henry! Just let me check. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. What was the question again? Have you found any interesting artefacts? Yes, a beautiful statue and a pair of vases. Luke says they could be more than 3,000 years old. 3,000 years old? You mean they're pre-cataclysmic? Total must be thrilled. The last time we found something this old, the Vice Dean took credit for the discovery while Total went to get champagne. Well, he's still not happy. He's been grumbling all morning. So stay on his good side, okay? Two, eight, eight, zero. Two, eight, eight, zero. Logged. Sorry, what were you saying? What are you working on? I'm logging the data Luke's gathering, and Micro is helping Max plumb the depths of the fissure. To tell you the truth, Henry, I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't want to mess up the first time Total takes me on an expedition. Cheer up, Carlotta. You couldn't do more damage than Total usually does himself. In 92, he got trapped inside a Sardinian sarcophagus he was studying. We found him, fast asleep, hugging the mummy. <laughs> Really? Total told me you were the one who got trapped and that he saved your life with his bare hands. <laughs> what? He tried to convince me it was Cobra. He said she got locked in with a bunch of venomous snakes and he saved her using a tin opener. Me? I was the one who noticed he was missing. Good old Total. He likes to play the hero, but if he hadn't got stuck in that sarcophagus, we never would have found the inscription on the lid. How's Total? Oh, I don't know. He spent all day muttering at the far end of the site. I offered to help earlier, but he asked me to leave because I was breathing too loud. What's all that yammering about? Back to work, everybody! See you later. I'll be here if you need anything. I'm really glad I finally got to come out on a dig. Is everything okay? If these readings are accurate, more than okay, Henry. The latest finds are two or three millennia old. We could be on to something big here. Sorry, Henry, I have to read the locator. Two, four, three, eight, eight, nine, six. Two, four, three, eight, eight, nine, six. Logged. If you need anything, let me know. The one in the middle is my backpack. Here's my geological chronometer. Could be useful. And somewhere around here... Hey! Where's my trowel? Did someone take my trowel? Why would I want your trowel? We didn't take it. I don't even understand why you keep it. It's obsolete. Objectively outmoded. I can't believe my trowel has disappeared. At least the geological chronometer was in there. I'll need it if I want to know how old something is. Cobra? Dijon. Do you really need to call me by my last name? Okay. Any news? You're late. I stayed up working really late last night. Total was sure there was a cross-shaped anomaly on the Chinese vase we found. In the end, it turned out it was just upside down. <laughs> Never mind. Have you talked with base camp? I made contact this morning. Would you mind asking them? I'd like to know if they need anything. <sighs> Situation update, PJ. They say they're fine, Dijon. They're always fine. You don't seem too busy. You're right. Should I be more like you? 
wandering around aimlessly looking at stuff? No, no, you should stay where you are. The lighting in this part of the cave enhances your natural scowl. Shouldn't you be cataloguing the latest finds? Don't insult me, Dijon. You don't need an archaeology degree to do grunt work. Let Carlotta do it. Carlotta's busy. Then you can do it. You don't look busy. This is why you and I don't talk more. What made you want to become an archaeologist? You don't seem very excited by the work. The rest of you get way too excited. I'm good at this job, Dijon, and it pays well. But why archaeology? You could make more money as a security cop. Honestly, I thought archaeology would involve more action. At least it gave me a chance to leave Mars. I always thought you'd be good in the army. Yeah, me too. They wanted me to cut my hair. Yeah, they're pretty old-fashioned. And on top of that, wait a second. Are we having a friendly chat? No. No way. Stop trying to butter me up, Dijon. Leave it, Cobra. The magic is gone. I'll leave you alone. Finally. This mushroom looks a little bigger than the rest. I'm going to take it. No, no, impossible. Sorry I'm late, Total. I overslept. Henry, please, don't distract me with such trifles. I must solve this riddle. Days of work and we're still stuck in the wrong chamber. This chamber is pretty interesting, isn't it? Do you want to spend the rest of the dig on the wrong side of a door as promising as this? Well... No. We must be in some kind of antechamber. Our finds have been mostly decorative. And that door, it looks important. Precisely. Why don't we just knock through the wall? No explosives. We can't risk damaging whatever is on the other side. I'll wager this door is hiding something very, very important. There has to be another way. These inscriptions, they're the key, but I can't decipher them. Speak, friend, and enter. No, nothing works. It doesn't matter how old he is. He's young in spirit. Let's see. Interesting. Very interesting. According to these readings, the door is no more than 500 years old. That's way more modern than our other finds. It can only mean one thing. The ancient door is covered in some kind of clay sediment. And the inscriptions, they must be more recent than the door. Someone carved them onto the clay. The real door must be sealed under the surface. Total, I've dated the door and it's less than 500 years old. Sorry? I think the real door is buried under a layer of clay. But, but what about the inscriptions? The inscriptions must be recent too, maybe even less than 100 years old. Supreme squid, are you sure? I used my geological chronometer. Didn't you think of that? I was getting round to it, but they seemed so ancient. Perhaps I should have been more sceptical. Hm. How do you explain the inscriptions, then? I think they might not be inscriptions. I think they're gratings. Hmm. Well, this could be good news. Do you think you can clear a way through the door? Uh, I'll try. What are you expecting to find behind this door? I think we're looking at pre-cataclysmic remains here, Henry. Pre-cataclysmic? That seems optimistic. We need a little optimism in this job. Any idea how we can get through the door? Now that we know the inscriptions are <clears throat> not of value, we need some kind of solvent to soften the clay and a tool to work it loose. A tool like my trowel? I was thinking of something more modern, like a thermal pick or a nano detonator. But yes, if it makes you happy, I suppose your crummy old trowel would do. I'm worried. I think I've lost my trowel. Your trowel? I saw it inside the binocular case, near the rubble. Are you sure? 
Well, at first I thought it was my trowel, but then I remembered I don't use a trowel because it's the 50th century, so it must have been yours. When did you see the trowel in the binocular case? I'd just finished my morning checklist, so it couldn't have been later than 10, but when I went back at 11 o'clock, the binocular case had disappeared. I remember because I saw Cobra chewing gum. That's weird. Cobra never chews gum before her 11.15 workout. Precisely. That's why I checked the time. By 11 o'clock, the binoculars were already gone. Somebody must have moved them. I'll look in the rubble. There must be some trace. Don't worry. I'll find a way to open that door. They're really stuck in the ground. I don't want to know how old Cobra is. Perfect. I don't want to know anything about you at all. Why would I want to date him? We studied together. He's my age. Why would I want to date him? That would be pretty rude. A gentleman would just ask how old she is. It's password protected. Perhaps I can guess it. Let's try 00000000. Wrong. What are the chances? Footprints. Interesting. I can make out indentations from the binocular case and heel marks. Kalata. You wouldn't know the password for the toolbox. I knew yesterday's password, but the twins change it every day. Where were you between 10 and 11 this morning? Sorry? Total witnessed the binocular case over by the rubble around 10, but an hour later, it was gone. Binocular case? I think my trowel was in the binocular case, and I noticed heel marks around there from your heels, Carlotta. Henry, are you accusing me of something? I'm just asking questions, Mom. <laughs> Fine. Let me think. Yes, I saw the case. It was lying in the rubble, and I thought it might get lost. So I gave the case to Micro. What time was that? Around 11, I think. No, I'm sure. Because Micro was downloading data from the base computer, and he got an electric shock. The computer clock stopped at exactly 10.55, the time I gave him the case. So Micro must have your trowel. But if it's in the binocular case, he wouldn't know that. I'll talk to him. Don't leave town, OK? See you later. I'll be here if you need anything. Is everything OK? Wait a minute, Henry. I have to read the locator. Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. Locked. If you need anything, let me know. How come the toolbox is locked? We always lock up the kit we're in the field. Standard practice. I need some tools. Do you know the code? Kind of. It's a lot of numbers to remember every day, so Micro and I remember half each. I know the first four numbers, and Micro knows the rest. You want me to write them down for you? Don't bother. I have a photographic memory. I don't need to write them down. It's up to you. The password is 5657. 5657, five, logged. No, no, Kalata. That wasn't a reading. Oh, but it's already been logged. Let me see that. I'd better leave them alone. Hi, Micro. Can I help? Sorry, Henry. I need to focus on Max. He's pretty deep into the hole. I could hold the rope for a while. I can't pass you the rope. This requires maximum concentration. I can't let go until I'm sure Max has landed safely at the bottom. But... It's so dark down there. Max is so brave. How will you know when he's on solid ground? I don't know how I'll know. That's why I'm holding on. What if you cramp up? That position doesn't look too comfortable. I'm a professional. The key is to stay focused. And to wiggle your toes a little. Watch out for falling mushrooms, Max! Damn, I've hit him on the head. You can see the bottom of the hole now. Yes, Max made it down in one piece. 
Whew. Shouldn't you have some kind of radio contact with Max? Uh, we do, but I left the receiver in my other suit. Micro, I need the password for the toolbox. Well, don't tell Luke, but I didn't memorize it. I wrote it on a piece of paper. Luke takes password security real seriously. Let me see. 7823, but that's just the last four numbers. Luke will remember the rest. I better get back to watching Max. No, Max, put the copper light down. Now I have the full password. Where were you between 11 and 12 this morning? I have witnesses that saw you handling the binocular case at 11. My trowel was in that case. Damn it, Henry. Some mysteries are best left buried. J'accuse, Micro. Kalata told me everything. You can't hide it any longer. Come clean. All right, all right. But don't judge me. Promise you won't tell anyone. My lips are sealed. I just want my trowel. Okay, then. When Carlotta gave me the binocular case, I saw something shiny inside. I swear, I didn't know it was your trowel, but I realized the binoculars weren't in there. Luke is so damn strict about us losing things. I knew he'd be mad about it. There was nothing I could do except get rid of the case. Are you telling me you destroyed my trowel? I, I hid the case in the rocks near the cave entrance. Hmm. Thanks, Micro. I promise I won't tell Luke anything. You're a good friend. I'll leave you alone. Let's see. Done! Hmm. Most of the tools must be in use. There must be something useful in amongst these supplies. Ah! Aqua Dentata. Water with bite. Micro said he hid the binocular case among the rocks near the entrance. I'm getting close. I better look around. No sign of the case or of my trowel. Wait a second. There's a puddle of water here and over there. That's chewing gum. What did Total say about chewing gum? Broken again. Probably Total in one of his moods. Cobra. Well, well, Cobra. Thought you got in away with it. Are you playing detective again? Didn't you end up getting a dead leg last time? Yes, you may have given me a dead leg, but this time I'm ready for you. Uh, go on then. Where were you just after 11 this morning? I was doing my daily workout. Unlike you, I like to keep in shape. I have to get her to confess. Morning workout, eh? Sounds like thirsty work. Keeping hydrated isn't a crime. Of course not. However, there was no water on site, right? So you had to go back to base camp. And when you approached the cave entrance, you found the binocular case. So what if I did? Um, I'm looking for it. Why didn't you just say so? Because I thought you would lie about it. You usually do. I do love to lie, true. I don't need you to tell me where it is. I can tell just by looking at your face. What? You're a good liar, but a bad poker player. And what's that got to do with anything? You get nervous easily. Enough mind games, Dijon. I've got it! What? Your hands. They're covered in fluorescent dust. I didn't see it until you got nervous and started moving. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't need to say anything, Cobra. This morning, you hid my trowel in the binocular case and buried it in the rubble, hoping it would be lost, no doubt. And it would have been if Kalata hadn't stumbled upon it later. When you saw the case near the entrance, you knew your plan had failed. You decided to hide it again, this time among the mushrooms. That's why your hands are completely covered in luminous mushroom spores. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. All this effort, just to annoy me. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Also, it took hardly any effort. My trowel! Another case solved by Detective Dijon. Let's see. It's working. The clay has softened, but I still can't remove it with my hands. I need a precision tool to remove it. I need my trowel. This should work. The clay comes off easily. Let's see what's underneath. Incredible. It has a handle. Open it, Henry. Open it. We can see what's behind this door at last. The door's open, Total. It's very dark. We need lanterns. We can't waste any more time. Come on, kids. Let's go, Henry. You first. By the supreme squid, this is brilliant. What is it? It's an ancient mural, Carlotta. This is the real deal. It's incredible. Perfectly preserved. This discovery will change history. I'm going to date it. Three thousand years old. It's pre-cataclysmic? Of course it's pre-cataclysmic. Don't you see? See what? It just says Trop. Mutropolis. Exactly. The place you were telling me about. Total's last city. Are you sure about this, Professor? We've been wrong before. It's more than a hunch this time, Cobra. So this is Mutropolis. Seems kind of small and dingy. This isn't the city, Carlotta. It's just a clue showing the way. Exactly. So are you going to go look for it? Can I come too? Carlotta, Mutropolis probably doesn't exist outside of Total's imagination. It's Atlantis. It's El Dorado. A city concealing treasures more than 200 million years old. 200 million? Relics from a time when the world was populated by monsters. They were called Dinotaurs. I thought they were just bedtime stories. The legends say their bones lie in Neutropolis. And that's all they are. Legends. Oh. It is hard to believe a place like Neutropolis really existed. Enough skepticism already. Archaeology is about curiosity. It would be a sight to see. I thought... Cobra, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. Let me go. Total, what's going on? Are you okay? Who turned out the lights? What? Ouch! Henry? Careful. They're over here. Quick, they're getting away. After them. Where's Henry? He must be chasing them. Colada, watch out! Stay close to me. Colada? Damn it! Run! 